We had some really good rain right around the lunchtime, and it was pouring down in South Denver on your Highlands Ranch earlier. We have a lot of lightning right now in Moffat County, all the way down to the southwest. Starting in Denver, some thunderstorms right over the airport right now, so I bet flights are definitely not taking off right now. It'll be a little bumpy once they do. So we've had a good line of rain rolling through Longmont, then through Brighton, and now out at the airport. Taking a look at our southeastern corner of the state, this is where we've been the most active. We do have severe thunderstorms in this area. There's been a lot of lightning, some large hail, and actually we've had tornado warnings in this area earlier today. Heading up to the northwest, uh, areas of Moffat County are getting hit right now. There's going to be a line of storms that go through Craig here pretty quickly, close to Meeker, and heading towards Rifle. We do have a severe thunderstorm. Watch for that southeastern corner through 10 o'clock tonight. Still a possibility that more storms fire and could potentially bring us severe weather. Let's check in with our satellite radar one more time without the lightning. And again, the big stuff is in the southeastern corner of the state. Other storms still have hail, but this again is where the big, big hail has been. We also have severe thunderstorm warnings and watches in place for parts of Texas. We have this area of low pressure that's parked over Nebraska and Kansas, and that is going to continue to pull away. And then a cold front's going to work its way through, gets closer to us by Thursday and into Friday. Ahead of that, we're actually warmer and drier. So we still have a chance for rain. It just won't be quite as widespread. As it passes through on Thursday night into Friday, we start to see our storms increase, and we will have a chance for more wet weather. And unfortunately, it may be a bit soggy again this weekend. But future cast for tonight we are looking at some rain still possible here in Denver late night and then tomorrow morning there should be a mixture of sunshine and cloud cover and then we'll see more sunshine tomorrow afternoon but you'll notice stray storms are popping up there will still be the possibility of a few thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and evening hours but again not nearly as widespread and our far eastern plains into uh, Kansas and Nebraska do still have a chance for some severe weather but the big section that kind of looks like a whale or a duck depending on the way you look at it but we could see some big weather all the way from Texas up into the Midwest tomorrow 53 in Denver right now, 57 in Fort Collins. Cooler temperatures thanks to that storm right over the airport. 60s, 70s out in the eastern plains, 40s, 50s, 60s in the mountains, and then we have the 50s to the 70s out west. Temperatures downtown, or I should say out at Highlands Ranch, 67 from our weather watcher Dale in northeast Highlands Ranch, 65 degrees here downtown. Checking in with the Almanac, 71 out of DIA today, 69 here downtown, so obviously another day below average, but tomorrow we should bounce back. 52 in Denver tonight, 51 in Fort Collins, 40s, 50s out east. High country, you're looking at the 30s and 40s, and then 40s to the 50s out west. Tomorrow, 81 in Denver and Greeley. So we head back to those 80s, still below average, but a little bit better. 80s out east. High country, you're looking at the 60s and 70s, 70s, 80s on the western slope. For your five day forecast, isolated storms are possible on Thursday, and then storm chances really start to ramp back up on Friday and into the weekend. So if you have any plans on this uh, this weekend, wow. just know that you, or just do it. Or maybe early. Yeah, in the yeah. <laughs> well, we're in that pattern, mm -hmm. no doubt. Thank you.